listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again today. Man, happy new year. It is a new month, a new year. And man, we have a special, special guest. We have the one and only Jerry Kramer. Man, sir, first and foremost, your resume speaks for itself. You have a new book that you are going to bless us with, especially the Packers fans. Run to win. First and foremost, sir, happy new year to you. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing extremely well uh, compared to uh, expectations. They were probably not to be here at all, but life is good and life is fun and I'm having a wonderful ride. So thank you very much for having me today and spending time with me. Yes, sir. So, man, let's dive into this book. Because like I said, we know your career. We know you're a great legend. Run to win. You have a phrase in this book, you can if you will. Tell us a little bit about that quote and how that may impact in your life. I uh, was a sophomore in high school. I had My feet had grown considerably, and my body had kind of followed along, and I was clumsy, I was awkward, I was a young kid. My line coach came up to me after one practice, and he took my hand and uh, held it out and looked at it. He said, son, you got big hands. And you got big feet. And one of these days, you're going to grow into them, and you can be a, a heck of a football player if you want to. And he started to walk away. And he walked four or five steps, and he stopped, and he turned around, and he looked at me, and he said, you can if you will. And I said, can what? If I will, what? Finish the sentence. You, what do you mean? And he just gave me a kind of a Mona Lisa smile and walked away and left me there to figure it out for myself. So I, uh, I found out along the way how incredibly important the will is, the burn, the fire, the hunger, the drive, the want, the whole package. Coach Lombardi enforced that and uh, strengthened that. And so I played with a lot of emotion and I played with a transitory and temporary anger. I got, I, when I had lined up against an opponent on the football field, I had prepared for a week for him. And I had uh, imagined that he had burned my home, he had shot my dog, he'd killed my children, he'd had it with my wife, and the son of a gun was going to pay. So I tried to generate a temporary, transitory, controllable anger and fire off of that anger. That anger makes you move. It makes you faster. It makes you stronger. It makes you a lot of things. So I used that anger to my advantage. And... Uh, and Coach Lombardi added to that anger with a, a chewing or two. So uh, it, it, it turned out to work for me pretty well. I'm glad you mentioned Coach Lombardi being able to just be underneath that legend. In the book, you talk about some insights uh, about his coaching style. If you could kind of tease us a little bit, some of the things that you really took to heart from your coach. He was a, uh, a good tactician and understood football and played football as a guard. And he uh, had, had a very good understanding of human nature. And he uh, had a way of embarrassing you and chewing you out in front of the guys like you never, ever wanted to be chewed out in front of the guys again, quite like that. Uh, as in, mister, the concentration period of a college student's five minutes, high school at three minutes, kindergarten at 30 seconds, and you don't have that, so where's that put you? Well, it put your check in your shoe shine, wondering how long you were going to be with the Green Bay Packers, wondering if you were in the right place at the right time. 
couple hours later, comes over to me in the locker room, messes up my hair, pats me on the back, says, son, one of these days you're going to be the best guard in football. Giving me a burst of energy that lasted for years. It was just a, a, something that I had dreamed about privately. Never mentioned it, never would mention it. But it was something I wanted. And he told me I could have it. If I did the things the right way. So I worked at the game. I worked at understanding my opponent. I worked at understanding the offense and uh, gave him everything I had. And that's why I was a, a good football player because of Coach Lombardi. Once again, man, true honor this morning talking to Green Bay Packers great and pro football Hall of Fame member Jerry Kramer. Get his book today, Run to Win. I know we're out of time, sir, but I just want to say Happy New Year to you again. Thank you for your time and what you contributed to the game of football. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it.